everyone, this is Julia Lowther from Little Metal Foxes, and I'm taking over Tooltip Tuesday today because Helen is probably sleeping, and Jennifer is probably also sleeping because Jennifer just got back from uh, the UK the middle in the middle of the night. Well, I think about 10.30, she finally landed in Seattle. So I am going to do a little live today. I'm taking over all by myself. So bear with me. So I wanted to talk about something today that's really important to me, which is how we, where we get the information that we learn stuff. And um, lots of people take lots of classes. Some people do a university degree. Lots of us read lots of books, right? So even those of us who maintain that we are self-taught or even somewhat self-taught are not entirely self-taught because we benefited from somebody else writing down great information for us. And so today what I want to do is talk about one of the presses that I just is very close to my heart and somebody that I really consider a mentor, even though I've only met him once, very briefly in person at a SNAG conference, and that is Tim McCrate. So Tim McCrate has actually been a mentor for many of us by doing things like writing books. So the first book he wrote is this one, The Complete Metal Smith. And this one was not actually published by his press. I'm going to turn it around in a second so I can show you all the books I have that were published by his press. So Tim McCrate wrote this amazing book, which was the first metalsmithing book I bought. And I have followed his career as a publisher and bought a number of his books over the years. And I want to show you uh, how many books I have of his. And so let me just switch the camera around. So this is my shelf of Tim McCrate books. This one here, the, the Complete Metalsmith, does, was not actually published by Bryn Morgan Press. It was published by a different publisher, but it started him off in the publishing world. And then all these other books here that I that I have, um, and actually you can't quite see all of them. There's the last one. Were published by Bryn Morgan Press, which is Tim McCrate's press. Now, some of these he wrote. Um, mostly what he does is he has done an amazing job of finding people who are you know, tops in their field and then publishing their work or republishing things that have gone out of print. So, for example, this book here um, was not originally published by Bryn Morgan Press. This is Classical Loop and Loop Chains by Jean Rhys Stark, a book very near and dear to my heart because it is a fabulous book on making fused loop chains. And it was out of print for many, many years. And Bryn Morgan Press brought it back in this beautiful edition, hardcover edition, with the, all the original drawings, but now the original drawings are in, they've added color and they've added some photographs as well to, um, to the book. So this, he, he's just, you know, he keeps things that have gone out of print, he gets them back into print, and things that were, never existed before, he makes them happen. Um, a couple of those that I have talked about before are this amazing book, by his friend and partner in the Toolbox Initiative, which is another great resource, uh, Matthew Chemini, The Art of Stamping. This is a fabulous book. He does an amazing job of talking about all these wonderful artists who are stamp artists. And then he goes through and has a ton of very specific instructions on how to make specific stamps. So this is just an incredible book. Another one, Super Near and Dear to My Heart by a local woman, Megan Corwin, Nancy Megan Corwin, Chasing and Repose. This is a fabulous book, and Megan is an amazing Chasing and Repose artist and also an amazing teacher. She's the one that I learned how to make chasing tools from, and I'm actually going to be teaching a class on making chasing tools coming up here in a little bit. Uh, but this book is just incredible. And so you know, she talks about not only making tools in this book, but then how you use them to do amazing chasing and repose work. Um, these are examples of some of her work, actually, here. So these are incredible techniques that he's done. He's also republished or published books from greats in the field. Alan Revere's Professional Stone Setting. This is a fabulous book. And then he's done a number of books on um, 
sort of the the science behind what we do. So Mark Grimwade's Introduction to Precious Metals, Metallurgy for Jewelers and Silversmiths is an incredible book full of amazing resources and uh, very dense. <laughs> this is a scientist's book. It talks about, you know, all the sorts of things that have to do with different alloys and where they when they melt and how they mix and all of that stuff. Uh, in addition... He's done this incredible book, which was a great labor of love. Uh, Charles Luton Brain translated this. So tra wonderful Charles Luton Brain from up in Calgary uh, translated this from the German. It was written by Dr. Erhard Breppel. And so this book, The Theory and Practice of Goldsmithing, is an incredible resource. It, it's up there for me with Uppy and Tracks Jewelry Concepts and Technology in terms of it's the resource and the, the density of information in this book. Um, so this one is a really remarkable one as well. Uh, also by Charles Luton Brain is fold forming. So Charles Luton Brain basically invented fold forming and he wrote a book on it and uh, Tim McCrate published it. So here's that, which is fabulous. You know, you can't get a better resource for that. And then... There are a couple of other books. There's actually one here. So he did one on precious metal clay, on working with precious metal clay, which is this guy. And um, then, and he wrote this one, actually. So this one is another one by Tim McCrate, the working with precious metal clay. And then there's another great book. I love this one. And this one is, unfortunately, one of the few that doesn't seem to be available on the Bryn Morgan Press site. So most of these books are available... Uh, as uh, many of them at least are available as ebooks as well as hardcover and or as uh, print versions and you can go to Bryn Morgan Press and uh, and buy them. This is one of the few that's not available, um, which is a pity because it's a really great book and uh, and I'm, it may be that it's just temporarily not available and he'll be bringing it back because this is a series of articles by a number of luminaries in the field. It is an amazing article by, on sterling granulation by John Cogswell. Michael Good did a section on anti-clastic raising. Susan Kingsley on non-conforming dyes. These are, you know, huge people, names in their fields. Um, Kambu, Camellia Okim, Camellia Okim. And then, uh, you know, a classic reticulation by our own Pacific Northwest uh, luminary, Hickey Seppa, who we lost many years ago. He's the one who wrote the book on um, uh, form, form emphasis in for metalsmiths was his book. So these are all amazing. He also has a couple of others that he's done in here. Let me see if I can get these back in. So there's Practical Joining, which is a spiral bound book. And I was just talking about this one in the riveting class that I just finished because it has wonderful illustrations. Here's a page on nail head rivets and how you can make those uh, using a draw plate or um, a, a watchmaker's anvil. Uh, and then he has another one that's in this sort of series of the spiral bound called Practical Casting, which is this fellow, uh, which he wrote. And then there's a lovely little book Last but not least is this lovely little book called Design Language, which is also by Tim, and really just kind of talks about things like, you know, contour and what it is. And it sort of has little spots for you to make notes. Um, it's really just kind of a place to think about, to give you things to t sort of take off from, places that you could use as kind of starting points, right? Um, which I think is kind of lovely and charming. So those are this is this is my group of books that were from Bryn Morgan Press. Uh, I think, and this is an older one. This is the last one I think I didn't mention. This is the Jewelry Making Manual by Sylvia Wicks, which is also another great book that has been around for a long time, but was out of is out of print now. I think. Um, so this is just my collection of his books. I, I also have, I think, at least two versions of his books on, um, uh, and ebooks as well. So I have the, I think he did the legacy book 
the that he and Matthew Chemini did about the West African jewelers. It was part of the Toolbox Initiative thing, and I have that as you know an iPad app basically, which is awesome because it has video included in it, which is really cool. Um, so I just really wanted to give a shout out to Tim McCrate and to Bryn Morgan Press, which is B R Y N. M-O-R-G-E-N. I was just looking at the spine of the book to make sure that what it, how it's spelled. We want to support people like Tim because he supports us by giving us the information that makes it possible for us to learn new things and teach new things, um, which is really what it's all about, right? Making sure that the information that we have doesn't die with us. He is one of the people who is making sure that other generations of jewelers can learn the cool stuff that we all enjoy learning and sharing. So anyway, I just wanted to put that out there that if you're looking for a book, <laughs> go to Bryn Morgan Press, buy them directly from, from him, support Tim, you know, or, you know, buy them used, however, however you want to. Um, I'll show you this too. I just finished making this little guy from the Kinetic Rivets class. I made a little kinetic fan that folds up with connect with rivets. This was a lot of fun. I just finished this class over the weekend. So, uh, and I just finished this up because it was the sample I was making and I didn't have it done on the day, but now it's finished. So let's see. Let me see what else is coming up uh, in terms of, oops, I have to get my iPad open. So let's see. Coming up. Uh, I'm doing a Knot Rings Roundup class. This coming, I guess this is coming Saturday. Uh, so I'm going to talk about several different ways that you can tie knots in wire and get, you know, the knotted look without actually tying a thing. It's a, it's a lot of fun. So join me. Uh, Helen's doing Intro to Glass Clay for Jewelry, and that uh, is going to be really cool. That's uh, follow, that's coming up on Sunday, the 21st. So sign up because that's it's just a small class. I think she only is letting six people in. And uh, I think she's only got like one or two seats left. So if you're interested, get, go ahead and sign up. Uh, File Work Rings is coming up at, toward the end of the month at the last weekend in August, which is always a lot of fun. So come join me for that. I love making those. Jennifer's doing reticulation uh, on the Sunday of that weekend, the last weekend in August. So that's pretty cool. And then we've got... Uh, Coming up in September, Flex Shaft Demystified, um, Finishing and Polishing Techniques are at the beginning of September. And then I'm doing the Make Your Mark Stamps and Punches class that I mentioned on the 10th of September. And then I'm starting another round of Studio Sparks in the middle of September as well. So if you're interested in kind of having a group of like-minded people that you can experiment and play with, um, then come and join us for Studio Sparks. It's a lot of fun. I send out a little prompt that's sort of like like a, it's like a writing prompt but for your studio so instead of t sending you something that says you know write a paragraph about a pear and an artichoke I'm going to send you something that says make a ring out of three wires and then you figure out how that's going to look right so the prompts are those kinds of things and they're really just an idea the idea is to kind of be a warm-up in your studio something to kind of get you get you going, get the juices flowing, get the creative energy moving around. And then once you're started, you can move on to other things or you can keep going. Sometimes students have built really, really interesting, you know, intricate pieces out of these prompts, right? The prompts are really just a jumping off place. Um, and you can use them or not as a place to jump off. You could do something entirely different. That's also fine too. So um, that's starting in September. You get basically four weeks of prompts. We have five uh, Zoom meetings that we, we check in. We have a meeting at the beginning to kind of talk about how everything works. And then we have one meeting a week to kind of check in and talk about successes and, and challenges and roadblocks and do brainstorming. It's really fun. It's a really fun way to find your tribe and, and have that kind of, you know, brain activity about making something, which is the part that I love the most. Like, ooh, you could do it like this. Or what if you tried that? And, you know, have you thought of this? You know, it's that, it's all that. And that's all so much fun. Jennifer is doing her uh, gold bezels class again. That one was really popular and it filled up really quickly. So she's doing another one at, in the beginning, in the middle of September as well. Um, and then we have Leslie Perino, who's a new instructor, who's going to be doing an amazing, really interesting looking uh, enameling technique with 
very thin metal and then you're you're shaping it using these embossing folders it's uh it's a it's a tool the embossing folder is what's used to emboss like cardstock to give tech you know dimension to cardstock but she's going to use metal in there and then enamel on it and i am really looking forward to seeing how that works out leslie's a long time a friend and associate of jennifer's and uh is just an amazing person and an amazing an analyst so i'm super excited to have her on board so and we have other fun people in the works we have uh, several other new instructors that are just about to come on board so the fall is shaping up to be really fun and interesting for you guys so uh with that i will uh, let you all get back to your tuesday evening and i will get back to mine and you know deal with my cats and all the other good stuff so Thank you so much for joining me this evening, and I look forward to seeing you all uh, at another Tooltip Tuesday. And in the meantime, stay cool wherever you are in the world. All right. Good night. <laughs>